Yeah, sorry about that. It uh, camera cut out. I'll put you in a little bit better. Okay. There we go. That, that should be a little bit better. Are yeah, you still on? Good. So let's go look for some sockets in there so I could turn them. Um, just gonna have to go through all my, my tools here just to figure out what to do. I have to go through one, uh, one of these one by one. I need to get organized. I really do. Anyways, let's see if any of these fit into that little hole. does um, but at the same time it really doesn't doesn't fit quite in there uh, it's just loose which I don't I don't like that being loose it's, 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 I'm just doing it by hand now let's see if it, let's see if that that helps it a little bit okay might help it a little bit. Let's see if it does. Yeah, that's that's much better. Okay. I hope you all saw that. So if this is loose, yeah, just go ahead and uh, come back here and uh, okay. Just come back over here and uh, loosen this in the in the release position and then go ahead and uh, tighten that nut and then you see you see it's much it's much better now and then when it tightens if I want to position this in a, in a good way and then and then tighten it now it's now it's on there really good I'm, gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to test it again now but uh, now that with the uh, fence kind of extended it's it's much wider as you can see and so uh, you still gotta um, we still gotta work the uh, extension on this so I think uh, if we loosen this these should pull out okay you guys back in here Now I gotta figure out how on earth I'm gonna pull this out. It looks, it looks like it's already loose. There we go. And you know they look like it feels like it's a part of the um, miter saw instead of being inserted in loose. Um, so very different from your 10 inch compounding miter saw uh, where you have to just insert it and screw it on tight. Um, let me see. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten. I'm gonna go ahead. Go ahead and tighten that. Let me see. Where's the? There it is. It's so gonna go ahead and tighten that up, and then uh, lock this into place. There we go. Locked into place because what I want to do is I want to I want to I, want to, I kind of want to tilt it a little bit to see the to see the bottom part and, uh, and yeah so it, it's attached there's a screw over here that that's going to keep it in place so this won't come out unless you loosen that screw to have it come out. So it's a part, it's completely a, um, attached to, it's detachable, but at the same time it's, it's a part of the, uh, 
miter saw. So same thing on this side. Um, you probably have to just pull it a little bit to get it going. There we go. And then screw it on tight. And what I like about it is that uh, it looks like you can adjust it, adjust the height of it, um, which is a big difference from the 10 inch uh, compounding mice saw because uh, it's just fixed. And I don't know how it would ever reach. Um, just give an example here. So we could, you could take this and just adjust this so that. Uh, Just do that, make sure you're focused. Um, I don't know how you would ever be able to. Sorry if you're not quite seeing it, but I'm trying here. And they put these on really tight. Can't get them to go. I still haven't figured out what these are for yet. Um, Manuel does not say anything about this when I when I was looking when I was looking through it. So, uh, of course, I, I guess I'll figure it out somewhere along the line. These, these could be the feet, possibly, but there's only two. That's which I don't understand. So, obviously, there's two screws on here. Well, one's a screw, and one's okay. They're it's a little different. Interesting. It's a different kind of screw, but anyways, let's get back to this thing. If I'm trying to, which I'm trying to figure out how to uh, loosen this thing without killing myself. So let's see if we can do that somehow. And there we go. There we go. Just need a little leverage. Okay, so there. So now we can match it up. So now we can match it up to the uh, to the table or to the to the main to the base anyway. Oh, there we go. Anyways, so the point is we can we can adjust it now. That's the point. So it's a little, it's a little high on this side, so it can be adjusted. There you go. So you got you got some extra space to adjust this as it's coming out, which is going to be a big difference in, uh, um, which it's, it's, it's a big difference, it really is, uh, compared to a 10 inch compounding miter saw. Um, so this is a huge improvement in my opinion, a big uh, increase in, uh, in value. Uh, so okay, now that I've figured that out, Let's, let's do the real test, and the real test is to see if it's, um, if it's straight, if it's square. Because there's no point in doing this if it's not. So, I guess we're going to take our combination square and uh, see what we can do with it. Oh yeah, by the way, I did find the laser. And the laser, uh, basically this wire... This wire here is the laser. So this is the power cord. Power comes in here, goes through 
right here down here to the other side and there you go there is the laser right right here and uh, I guess we're gonna find out if that laser how well that laser is see right there there's the laser I don't know if you can see that I'll uh, I'm gonna have to take you out the holster but uh, so I can make sure you see that so I'm sure that's what you all wanted to see so. anyways um, so that, that's I found it found a darn thing um, of course Manuel you know Manuel is not very helpful in that regard so let me see there you go so that's the laser right there if you see it so uh, there it is right right there that's the laser so the laser's right under there so now 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 we found the laser excellent um so now we got to make sure that this is level uh, straight to the to the base of this so as you saw in my last episode i'm gonna have to go through that that whole thing again where where we're gonna see if if this is uh even straight so we're gonna take a straight edge we're gonna see if uh, if this is even straight so uh, I'm probably gonna take this down here let that let that just fall and I should probably take it in uh, let me see if they're, they're they're touching on the other side so I should really take it off but I wonder if it's touching It is, it is touching. That's gonna affect the. And that's gonna affect it, but. Well, I think that's alright because the pieces you have, this is a four inch level. I'm mean not four inch, uh, four, feet, four foot level. Uh, you're probably gonna be cutting something of this size with this. Uh, anything, I mean, you could cut it smaller, but. That's that's fine. If it wants to rest on that, that's fine. Because I feel it feels pretty solid on this as well. I think it's it's pretty solid. The longer the piece, the better. Okay. Okay. Put it, put it up against the fence and see if there's any jiggling in the fence. There's a slight jiggle. Just a slight though. Not, not a lot. It's on this side too. Or it depends for which, which way you push it. See that? I don't know if you're able to see that. Let me see. See that little gap? So I guess it's going to depend on which side you want to uh, feed into. See that gap? Gap gets bigger. If I close the gap, the gap over here gets bigger. So if I close this gap, close this gap on this side. Gap here, so okay. So it's not straight, but that's all right because uh, I guess you wouldn't expect it to be straight. Um, what I'm, what I usually do is, uh, I guess it depends how you where how you feed into it. What I did with the 10 inch was I knew I was going to feed going this way, right? So. I'm um, basically feeding it going in this way, so everything I'm going to do is from here. Um, overall, it's not that bad. I would say it's one degree, uh, one and a half degree 
off. Yeah, there's some rocking. Yeah, there's some rocking going on. So it's it's still um, still off. I don't know if I can do anything about that, but if there's any uh, adjustments I can make, doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like well. I don't think there's any adjustments I can make with this, um, if that's the case. So um, I'm just going to have to deal with it. Oh well. Oh well, that's that's life. At least I know now. So I, I'll, I'm going to make it. I'm going to basically be because I'm left, um, I'm right-handed, and the handle's, of course, on the right side. I'm going to hold with my left hand right here, and that's where I'm going to base uh, uh, most of my cuts here. And so I'm going to base it uh, how wh square the blade is in relation to the fence, in relation to the base, um, to, uh, to get a square cut that makes sense. I hope that made sense. So anyway, let's let's get a square and let's do this. Uh, so where's my square? Okay, here's my square. So we're going to use this square here to uh, to do this here. out of the way here and uh, well, I think we've already did that whole shebang thing all right so now I gotta make sure it's tight screwed on tight there we go to the fence. I'm not too close to the fence. I, I still want to I want to see how level it is up to the base. So I wish this would just lock into place but I guess there's a safety feature that won't quite allow that. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of if I could stick my sc a screw in there and that would keep it in place. Careful because uh, this wire could uh, could get caught up in, in the whole thing. If you push it too too much, because it's hitting it. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I, I need my other hand. So uh, back in the holster, you guys go. I'll do my best to uh, keep you in the loop here. Of course, you, if you've seen my uh, if you've seen my other videos, you you kind of already know what's a good idea what to do. So, anyways, let's get let's let's do this here. So, that's a big blade. Let's let's see. 
how close this thing is. That's pretty darn close. Some wiggle room here. Oh, sorry. There's some wiggle room here. So, let me do something real quick. Get that out of the way. There's a little space in here. So, okay. There we go. There we go. Now I can move it somewhat freely now. Out of the way. Make sure the make sure it's not plugged in. That's pretty darn close as is. That's pretty darn close. That is very, very close. I don't know if you're able to see all that, but that is very close. I mean, I'd have to mess with it. I mean, it's, it's off by like barely half a degree. Um, That's a uh, some kind of hex wrench that I would have to turn on that. Um, let's see if I bring it down a little bit lower. I should just really let it freely just stand and uh, see what what happens here. just barely off. Let me try to adjust this one more time. So, you know, when I, I think if you have to set it to zero, because it's a double bevel, you might have to set it, just take a square and just set it to zero every time you make that square cut because there is a little play here, but at the same time, the play is so small that is so small but yet it's still there okay all right there is a little bit of play in this thing
So there, there is a, it's, it's off as you get closer to the fence, just by barely half a degree. So, but as you move away from the fence, it actually is pretty right on. And I, I don't know if you can do anything about that because it, oop, it's, I don't, I don't want to spend all, I'm, I'm splitting hairs. It's out of the box, the way it comes, it's amazing. Um, I'm just splitting hairs because that's just the way I am. Um, so, okay, great. So if that's, if that's right on, and it, and it looks like it is because it, it just dead on right at zero right there. Um, let's see what, uh, what the 45 looks like. Because if that's on, most likely the 45 is uh, dead on as well. And so, let me get my little triangle. And so far, I'm I'm impressed with this. Uh, with this, uh, I have to. I'm gonna have to give it like super duper excellent rating, just because um, how well it just came out of the box literally and very little adjusting that I had to do on my part. 